this is my new office. When we moved to this house, I was upstairs in what we call the blue room. After refinishing the floors, the blue room became our bedroom. Then I moved down to the basement playroom, which was never played in. After a couple of winter months though, I started getting a little tired of having to bundle up to stay warm in my basement office. I needed a better space. There weren't many options except for what we call our sunroom. This room is really just too narrow to be useful as a dining space. This space was so non-functional. Spontaneous destruction. Spontaneous destruction. That we spontaneously ripped out one of the built-in benches out of frustration one morning. That cathartic moment opened up a bunch of ideas for how we could use this space. From a bathroom to a laundry room, even a little guest room. But in the end, we agreed I needed better office space. So I'm gonna make this space mine. In a previous video, I closed off the half wall between the kitchen and this sunroom and built some spice and oil storage on the other side. Looks pretty cool, huh? To get my office together though, first challenge was the flooring. Removing both benches exposed this really old linoleum. I think underneath the vinyl tiles, linoleum, and linoleum underlayment, that there are wood floors. We really wanted to rip all of the flooring out, but I have no idea how old the linoleum is or if it has asbestos. So I bought this asbestos testing kit from Schneider Labs, cut up a little bit of the linoleum, sent it in, and when the results came back, asbestos. So either we would need to hire an asbestos remediation firm to rip out the floors, or we could just cover them over with something new. The latter seemed like a much faster, cheaper option. I lay down oriented strand board for a new subfloor, but as this portion of the house had settled with a slope of about an inch, I needed to run some long shims underneath to level it. Next, I framed up a wall to close off this weird open space and erected a door frame to finish closing off this room from the kitchen. That said, we didn't want to lose all the light from the sunroom that went into the kitchen. So I spent a painful $500 to get a glass door. Drywall is pretty boring. You cut it, you put it up. I decided to do a double layer to reduce sound transmission, squirting green glue acoustic dampener between each layer of drywall. Mud work is boring too, so let's just jump right to the finish work. With all these south facing windows, this room gets pretty warm pretty quickly on sunny days. So I put in this cool Fanimation ceiling fan right above where I sit. I didn't want to deal with the mud work or the inevitable texture difference up in the ceiling corner. So I ran a bit of cove molding to cover that seam. I also put in a component shelf up top. This will get our cable modem out of the pantry along with all the network attached devices. I put them all on a light switch so I can easily reboot them when the inevitable memory leaks start to drag down performance. I also ran hue string lights along the inside of the shelf. The light from a ceiling fan is never bright enough. For the floors, I chose a Cali cork product sold by Home Depot. The instructions said that I didn't need to use this underlayment unless it was on concrete, but I figured I should put it in anyway. Then I just snapped the boards in place. I had expected this part of the job to be tedious, but the room is maybe three quarters of an inch wider than six feet, and the floorboards were three feet wide. No cutting required. The gaps were a bit wider than I'd like, so I had to add quarter round to make sure they were all covered up. The first day I moved in here and started working, I was just so much more productive. This is my new house in West Seattle. It's a century old with half a century of deferred maintenance and a couple of odd decisions by the last homeowner. Subscribe to my channel to catch all the different projects that I undertake to get this place updated.